our Ashley Pickle is on hand with the Jack in the Box Spotlight. Shiner Refurio. It's a matchup in the regional final round that we have all, the entire state of Texas, has become accustomed to looking forward to what seems like year in and year out. You expect a fireworks factory, a fight till the very end, maybe even an overtime game. This year, the way that Shiner just played this game made a statement that coach and I think the entire state of Texas left their jaws drop just a hair. It's unbelievable. I mean, the effort our kids gave is just I, I, I just, I can't believe it. I thought our defense played lights out against one of the best offenses in the state. Uh, I thought we were really explosive on offense, and I can't say how proud I am of our kids and coaches right now. And it was the duo of Doug and Dalton Brooks, the Shiner Comanche brothers, that combined for over 500 yards of offense and eight total touchdowns. That's who I play for tonight. You know, I'm not going to let him go. I really could care less how I go out, but I'm not going to let him go out with any kind Loss. We've been playing together for a long time, you know, and just to have that chemistry on the field, it feels great. And while the game seemed to slip away for Refurio, the true story tonight was the crowd that showed up in Victoria Stadium. These two schools combined for an enrollment of 427 kids. Well, the stadium in Victoria that holds 10,729 people was completely full and showed just how much Texas high school football playoffs mean to the great Lone Star State. Tom Ball moves on to the state semifinal round there to witness it for us was our Ashley Pickle. This scene behind me, this is what the Texas high school football playoffs are all about. Tom Ball had to win their last game of the regular season against Klein on November 5th to even make it into the playoffs. And here they are five weeks later punching their ticket to the state semifinals. Man, I'm, I'm speechless. Unbelievable. These these kids have just, they've gotten better every single week. And, I mean, I'm just so proud of them. We've been talking about our culture for the last three years really hard, and they just buy in. Just, they just keep playing harder every week. It's, it's awesome. Kale Helms turned it on in the second half, but really it was the defense forcing three different fumble recoveries to really set the distance between these two teams. We're going to keep on doing us, you know. Um, people want to call this like a Cinderella, but, I mean, these wins, we're, we're winning every every quarter. We're always up, and it's just we're, we're ready. We're going to be there. On the sideline, right as the clock expired, some of the Tom Ball team members saying, guys, we're one of the last four teams to be playing in 6A Division II in the entire state of Texas. 44 to 20, the win over Atascacita, and there with a recap is our Ashley Pickle. When you come across a big 6A Division I matchup like this with two different teams that, well, quite frankly, they're used to being in these big game situations, especially North Shore. And when you talked to Coach John Kay earlier this week, he said that there was just one thing that his guys needed to do, relax, focus, and ball. Yeah, I still think we left a lot on the field. We're still looking for it, and, and, and uh, you know, I just really applaud our special teams. I thought we did a great job in, in field position. I knew that was going to be an issue. We gave up some long returns. Our defense answered the bell, but, uh, you know, to come up with the turnovers defensively, I thought those kids played lights out all night against an explosive offense, and uh, glad to get out of here with the win. The North Shore offense with freshman quarterback Caleb Bailey was balling out, but realistically, guys, it was the defense that came up so strong tonight. They never wavered, regardless of Atascacita, fighting back in the final minutes to try and grab that victory. I mean, just to do what we do every week, play hard, uh, relax, focus, and ball, just do your job. I mean, the DBs did a good job on the back end. Everybody did their job. It's, it's all one puzzle. I thought they had a great week of preparation, and I think they're starting to learn how to play together. So we knew it was going to be tough. We we're going to give up some, but I just like the way we responded and, uh, you know, and, and turned the ball over was huge. And North Shore advances to the state semifinals, the round that they were pushed out of last year. So there's one goal in mind, win that game and head back to AT&T Stadium.